that there's no drumming down here, so after six. Oh, yeah. Uh, can you patent games? Uh, do people, was Trivial Pursuit patented, for example? Like, like let's say that you have a crappy game. Uh, 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 can you copyright a game? Uh, all games are copyrighted. Oh, I mean, can you patent the game? Can you patent it? Mm, if it's sufficiently innovative, maybe. Can, can you patent the idea of like profiling? Profiling is, is almost a game for people that work in a field like uh, you know, like NASA or something like that. They, 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 they would have this idea, or the FBI would profile things. And can, can you patent that idea of profiling it as a social game? To, I know you're talking about, which is a great idea, but it's just a social experiment, art is a social experiment. Yeah. That, that, that's a good point. That's, that, that's, it, it, that's a risk take. take, take, take you can kind of argue that all art is a social experiment. I agree. That that's, that's kind of the nature of, of what it is. It's like testing an idea and seeing what people will do with it. Yeah, I, 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 I think that's a good point. I think there's a lot to be said about that. But so there's this idea in university, uh, a friend of mine, he, for, he, he, he took a, he, in the kitchen, he took two brooms and then he took a sock and then he, 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 he tied it in a knot and we played broom socky. We had broom socky, you know. <laughs> so could you pat that? Could you pat the idea of broom socky? It, it was like hockey, but it was a sock and a broom. And, and, and we had one net and, and, and we had teams and we played broom socky. Could you pat broom maybe, socky? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably, you, you could go into business making the official broom socky broom. Yeah. You probably could. Yeah. 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 Would it be easier? It has to be useful. Like, there's a bunch of different requirements for a patent. Uh, one of the requirements is it has to be a useful invention. It has to be not obvious and intuitive to people who are already doing it. Well, like, uh, well, I was thinking of, uh, not, not broom sake, but uh, can, can you, uh, uh, I forgot what's going to so. But do two brooms take together? Well, what does it mean with that? Like, when they say that there's no, you, you can't patent, uh, uh, Roman and Juliet say that you can't add that 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 concept. You know, there's some things you can't add. No e, e equals mc squared. You can't add that. That's because it's, yeah, it's just a formula. Like if, if it's it's a it's a formula. You you can patent certain types of discovery, but like it, like uh, you can patent discovered chemicals. Like if you if you discover find a way to make a chemical, but maybe something like like a something that's just an algorithm or a, a formula. The formula itself can't be patented. So anything that's just like, you know, y equals three x plus six. Do you ever get the crazy guys to say, well, I want a patent, like a like a giant sewing machine? But it's it's a sewing machine that's like it's an outer space, and it's gonna weave. It's a weaving machine or a printing machine, and it's gonna it's gonna take uh, all all the the nothingness in space and weave out uh, another. Uh, uh, other universes like that. From a technical perspective, you might have a reduction of practice problem. <laughs> and it's, it's fine. It's just that, that you have to sort of know how to build it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know how to build a, a sewing machine that sews nothingness, like which is a great idea. Like, like, idea. Like, a, like a weave, would it be a weaving? Would, would it be a, like a, I guess it would be a fabric, uh, it, would, it, would, it would take the fabric and, or create a fabric and then just sew all piece. I don't know how it would work. Oh, you know, as you get closer to, if you start looking into some of the details of like quantum mechanics and stuff, they're finding some very odd fundamental details of the universe. So that might not be as crazy as it sounds. Well, I, I think you could uh, do it by, you know, if you, if you, if you could uh, somehow, I don't know how it would work. No, I don't know how it would work. It's, it's, it's lost too much insanity because. Let's say you have a receiver and a, and a, and a, and a, and uh, an amplifier, and you amplify it out of gravity, and, 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 and it, 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 yeah. right, and then that, that that would sort of like you take gravity and quantum entangle it with itself. Mm -hmm. That's something. That, yeah, I, there's actually people that are studying this kind of stuff that are like right out there. It, it, it gets like it starts crossing the line between philosophy and art and math. And science. Yeah. I, I forget when, when, I, when, I, when I was looking the patents back in the 90s, they, they said that there's no equal e equals mc squared. I, I know people hate the, the, the time machines and professional motion machines. They don't like patenting them either. But something that the, the concept yeah, of the time machines. Time machine and professional motion machines are not allowed. You can't. They won't they'll just reject it. Yeah, it's rejected. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> and you know they're getting, you know they're getting good people sending stuff in. <laughs> that's why they end up wrong. That's why they say don't send the prototype. You know, don't send any photos. You know, don't send the prototype. But they just want all the stuff about the pan You know. Well, they used to have guys like showing up with a little briefcase, you know, a little prototype. Because right, right. it, it's first of all, is it the same thing? Can yep, it? Now it's universal. So are there people that say, well, that's this great idea, and then it, it, buddy says, well, oh, it was just before, the, before someone else does, because he's heard of it. Does, is he on the right to it? I guess if, if it's not public, I guess, right? If it's public, then nobody can patent it. As soon as we get public, mm -hmm. um, everywhere except in the U.S., you can't patent it anymore. You've already revealed it, and technically, you can't, you can't patent an idea that's already been revealed. I, I forget what it was. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure if I remember it. But if, when, when they're saying like the idea of uh, Eagle, Eagles MC squared, you can't patent. You can't patent the concept like a Romeo and Juliet type of thing. That fiction mm -hmm. type storyline story type of thing. That's not allowed. It's usually it's considered a work of art, so it's more like a copyright because it's not a use. Romeo and Juliet isn't a useful process. I think that's what the concept is. But if you could. You could, for example, patent a software program that used Romo, Romeo and Juliet as a, a prototype for matchmaking. Mm -hmm. you know, like, so it's, it, there's angles you can you can play with if you could find some sort of angle to make that story into something. Is, is it up to the examiner? Is his discretion yeah. up to him? Well, yes. There's a field process, but yes, it's up to the examiner. If, what, what are they? Are they like are they engineers? Are they scientists? Are they they just know that engineer. Um, yeah, the, they're usually scientists, engineers, scientists, that sort of thing. Um, Is it hard to do? They get like a lot of work. Because yeah. you know, people are always sending stuff to the patent office, right? And sometimes it's really technical. Usually they kind of get good at a certain area. Like when, after, after reading, you know, five or six or a couple hundred patents in a certain area, you get pretty smart about what's, how that works. Like you've already done the research into how you know, LCD displays work, or how you know semiconductors with this kind of technology work. And they encourage it. They encourage people to patent it. They, not just the lawyers, but the, they say it fuels progress. They encourage people to patent it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Good. Not just for the, just not for just for the individual for its protection, but just for the general uh, development of uh, technologies and, and uh, progress. Basically. Because after after your monopoly is over, I think you've had something yeah, uh, in 20 years that's public that's become that idea becomes public property. Which is kind of cool. So it basically becomes kind of a gift to the planet. Yeah. Well, uh, you, it makes you wonder what they're patenting. Like, the the genetically, if they can patent things, the stem cells are too. They say. I'm not sure what that, what that is. It's, 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 uh, patenting other things like cures for cancer, they say that they have one, but you know, the pharmaceutical companies are, are sitting on this technology. You never know. It's quite possible. Yeah, it's yeah. sort of like the trade secret route, where people, you know, they basically just decide that things like the Coca formula is. Like the Coca Cola drink, um, that's, it's not patented, but it, or it's not. It, but it's it's uh, sort of held as a trade sure. secret. Nobody knows exactly what uh, which is what, what the formula so, is. So, so an idea like that is so secret that even the patent office is not about right? That's nobody, yeah, nobody knows. Yeah. It's just like hidden in the vault, deep in the uh, in the in the Coca 